Next, Rosie, is there really a rivalry brewing on Allie McBeal? Oh, we wanted to kill her. What was that about? Find out from Callista Flockhart. You guys hate her. She's nasty. Does singer and newest Allie McBeal guest star Jennifer Holliday have the scoop? That's the rumor I've heard. Oh, God, is that the rumor? Catch the buzz about the new TV show everyone's waiting to see, Felicity, from rising star Carrie Russell. And meet Rosie's lucky bowling team. Next, Rosie. Monday at 4, only on NBC 33. Imagine walking down the street and your bones start to crumble. Well, this is happening right now to half the women in America. It's called osteoporosis. It starts in your 30s. Your bones lose their density and their strength. They become brittle. They break easily. But there is good news about osteoporosis. You don't have to get it. You can treat it. You can beat it. Just see your doctor to find out how. Now. You're watching NBC 33, Fort Wayne. Indiana moves to two and one on the season. Over 32,000 people at Nippert Stadium in Cincinnati, 48 to 14. Indiana rolls on. And one of the things you talked to the team about before the game was getting off to a quick start. Well, we've done that now three weeks in a row. We just talk about a fast start, uh, uh, getting something positive going, and, and we and we were able to do it again. We uh, uh, we get right down the field and get a field goal. Uh, and we come back, and, uh, and, and we really, I thought, had a nice job of mixing the option with the inside game, the sprint out game. Uh, uh, I thought Antoine uh, really started to get on track, really our second series, and we go down, and, and, and Chris Gall winds up uh, punching one in there in the, in the first quarter. So we got off to a good start. Uh, we're up 10 to nothing. Um, but like has happened in the other games too, uh, we had a, we had a tough, not a tough time, but it took us a couple series to get adjusted. They go down and they score. Um, we respond uh, with a score, and, and I think uh, just a couple of plays. They kicked off. We start on our 20. Uh, Antoine scrambles and finds Tyrone Browning for oh, probably 20, 25 yards, and then we were able to um, execute. We bring O.J. Connor in. He we throw it to uh, O.J. He throws it back to Antoine. I have, I'm looking forward to seeing the play myself. I guess it was, it was quite a run by Antoine, and we score there. Uh, but, again, we're uh, uh, one play after that, 72 yards, they're in the end zone. So there, there was really, it was really a heck of a ball game in the first half. A lot of things back and forth. And then what I, you could start to feel our defense start to get an idea of, of what Cincinnati was trying to do to them. And then offensively, uh, we started, uh, we didn't catch the ball as well as we have in some games. We had a miscue here or there, but uh, some plays were made. We moved the ball down the field again. Just a series of, uh, of, of options, off tackle plays, uh, a pass here or there, and then we wind up having to, uh, they do a nice job, but we go for it on fourth and two, and Antoine uh, goes in and scores. Uh, to go ahead there. So the, the, the entire first half was back and forth, but I think we went into halftime and felt like we had control of the ball game. But we'd been in that position before, and we knew we had to get some adjustments made. Defense made a big play there in the second quarter. It looked like Cincinnati was rolling on. They forced a field goal attempt, and it was missed. So credit the defense to holding your momentum. Well, we, we talked to our whole team about uh, special teams and uh, all the things that happened the week before. And our we said, hey, our defense has got to get them shut down. And then we forced them into two long field goals for the, for the night, and, uh, and they, missed, they missed a couple of them. So uh, those, are big, those are big momentum. Uh, they, they help you with momentum. And then when you're able to bring your offense around the field and bang, 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 go down and score, then you can usually get the thing going. Big Indiana crowd, really. There was the student section. Of course, the band was there, the cheerleaders. I think that helped the team. It was nice. And we told, uh, they, had, they had announced early in the week that game was potentially the largest crowd in the history of that stadium, and it turned out to be mm -hmm. that way. And what I, what I like from our fans is it was really an Indiana home football game. Here we are in the state of Ohio, in the city of Cincinnati, and there was no question who had the most fans there, who the, who the, the loudest and most supportive fans were. And uh, we were glad that... Uh, they all came over. We need that every week on the road. 
27 to 14 at the half then. Now, what kind of things did you talk about at halftime? Well, we just talked about, hey, we've been here before. This is the, was the third week in a row where we've been ahead 27 to something, 31, whatever the score might be. Now we got to go out. They, we knew they received the second half kickoff. We had to get them shut down. And uh, that's what we talked about. We had, we'd gotten a fast start, all right, which is one, the first thing we wanted to do. Secondly, we had to get them shut down on defense, and then we started talking about let's get this thing finished. All right, we'll be back with more on the Cincinnati game after this. Closeout time at your Buick dealer, and you can save a fortune. Choose cash savings of $750 to $3,000. Or take a look at what 09 Financing can save you. Buick's 98 Closeout. Yes, now's the time to see your local Buick dealer. From modest beginnings, Indiana today is one of the nation's truly remarkable universities. But no state-assisted university ever became outstanding without private support. Faculty are at the heart of great universities. Their dedication to students and research makes teaching and the quest for new... That's beautiful, honey. 